Chris. So yes, thank you, thank you to everybody in chat for sticking around. Um, they, I know a lot of you have been with us for a while now, um, and that's great. That's awesome. Uh, please continue giving us money. If you have uh, XP to spend, uh, please make sure that you are spending it on the games. Uh, I am planning on running a very solid Dark Sun game today, and what that means is there, the players might run into some trouble. Uh, at a couple different points. For those who haven't played in Dark Sun oh. before, it's a D&D &D setting which is very unforgiving. It is like Mad Max meets dragons and magic. Uh, it's a really cool setting, but it also means a lot of bad things can happen to the players, and the players tend to not have long lifespans. So just, you know, be aware that, that I, uh, I'm not planning on knocking anybody off. I love each and every one of you. Uh, but not. Such a lie. But I'm not going to. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to protect you from the world. <clears throat> I think you can handle it. Why do I have an armor of one? Uh, okay, so armor is you're well one. armored. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Trust me. Yeah, oh, Ar okay. armor is damage reduction in this system. So when I, I tell you damage, you just minus the armor from it. And our hit points don't go up. Your hit points level, right? never go unless, up when you level unless you're con. Unless, unless your constitution yeah. goes. Up. So uh, for for those of you who are wondering, since Dungeon World is a little different uh, than D and D, if you'd like to contribute cool. to the stream, uh, you can do so in a yeah. number of ways. Uh, you can uh, yeah. give us five yeah, bucks yeah. for advantage, and you can yeah. give advantage to one of the players so that they can add an additional d6 to the 2d6 they would normally roll and they can drop the lowest so players be aware of that if you are given advantage by somebody in chat uh, you can roll 3d6 with that advantage and drop the lowest uh, that'll cost you 1400 xp to do that if you'd like to give advantage to one of our players uh, you can spend five bucks if you want to buff the NPCs in a combat or an encounter that you see for these players. That'll cost you 1,400 XP if you'd like to do that. Uh, you can add NPCs to a combat if you're like, you know, I feel like Sean didn't do a good enough job filling that out. I'll say, you know what? It's a good note. I appreciate that. I'll take that note. Uh, and all you have to do to submit that note is to spend six bucks and I will add an NPC to that combat or 2,000 XP will add an NPC to the combat. You can add up to three NPCs uh, to a combat, which is 18 bucks or 6,000 XP at the top level. Last thing is, if you want to, if you like somebody at the table and you want to see a little more of that player, you can give them a Leroy Jenkins. Ooh. Uh, that's Leroy, Leroy, Leroy Jenkins. Jenkins. Uh, by the way, that uh, gentleman, Leroy, is from Colorado uh, and just a really nice guy. Oh, um, I bet he's a nice guy. Yeah. I would love he was to play like, tired of them they had a claim sitting defense. around, just planning. Yeah, talking. Well, no. Well, he he was, went to the bathroom he and was, then he came back. I mean, <laughs> they were. And he was like, oh, I guess it's time to start raiding. I mean, they were, they were acting active. like it was Black Queen Lair when it was just Upper Black Rock Spire. Good was, point. <laughs> really good point. What? <laughs> really good point. Oh, man. I'm very confused by this conversation and what he's drinking over there. Um, it's my, your. It's, my bug juice. How, yeah, yeah. how much uh, chia seed is in that? That's too uh, much. What's this fermented bug juice? Yeah, the, you know, like the, uh, the cank uh, nectar. Yeah, it's the the, the cank nectar. nectar that you find in Dark Sun. As a three cream. Ooh. You, is that, I, I'm gonna Five play cream. that. Can I? All right. You, you, try. Right. Can I yeah. just do that voice? You can do that oh voice as long as yeah, you like. You can do any it stupid is voice you want. not yeah. going to play well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but do it anyways. But, but please fine. do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure do it. Um, anyway, uh, so if you want to Leroy yeah, Jenkins somebody, fun. that basically just gives somebody another whack at the bad guys that they're uh, up against. So you can basically give them another move. And That's to give sweet. them that other move, it's 10 bucks or 3,000 XP. So guys, spend your XP and try to keep some of these people... Um, in the fight. Uh, again, I'm not planning wow, on killing it's, anybody. It's so obvious you are. Um, really. I, I want to be clear. I'm just putting things out there, and I want you guys to succeed. I really, truly do. I mean, I almost died last session. Yeah, oh. yeah but that wasn't on me. That was on the dice. Yeah, and on, like early on in the session, <laughs> yeah. too. Like, I was watching it, and I was like, oh, man, you guys really could have used some Sizzlack. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. I think the lack of Sizzlack could have been the biggest problem. Paul, who would agree with that statement? Yeah. I mean, I feel like somebody oh, wow, has look to at roll that. Some, That's some, enough. That's <laughs> enough for me to feel good about it. Somebody you know, has to I roll no terrible. I what those words mean, but I like voting. <laughs> oh, you know what? That is like very American, American of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, last time on the... Uh, in oh, Gross. <laughs> Whatever that is coming out of your mouth. Disgusting. Okay. I've said that so many times <laughs> to Justin. <laughs> um, it's usually words. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it is usually words. Last time in the city of Tyr in Athos uh, on Dark Sun, 
sorry, in Dark Sun, the group was pilfering a bunch of items and wealth from the Sorcerer King's palace. Sorcerer Kings tend to be tend to be. They are always extremely powerful. Uh, they are, as far as most people understand, immortal, and you just don't mess with them. The players decided to infiltrate the Sorcerer King's palace because the Sorcerer King and most of his guards were going to be away because they're doing some dastardly thing in a coliseum. I think the players generally figured out what was going on, uh, which is that some sort of necromantic ritual is happening so that the Sorcerer King can become a dragon. So, uh, and if I spoiled any of that, whatever. Your classic, um, you know, uh, full, uh, full metal alchemist, mm -hmm. convert a, a stadium full of people into magic so you can turn yourself into a dragon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that really like tired Saturday. trope. Yeah. That old right. tired that trope. That old tired He's trope. He's so weak. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, so I gotta stop this from happening. Yeah. So uh, so the players are uh, have just finished clearing out the palace and are racing towards the Colosseum to stop the Sorcerer King. Uh, or I'm not sure if the players decided to stop the Sorcerer King entirely because they found out that the Sorcerer King's process, this ritual that he's doing, if they let him begin the process, it would weaken him enough that he would be killable is, is the theory anyway. Pretty sure everybody was on board with that. Yeah, yeah that, that was a real nice gray thing. area that I was like, ooh, that's going to be interesting to see how the players react to this. And all the players were like, yeah, I think we'll just let it go. I was like, oh, okay, not not a moral quandary then, I guess. Uh, I introduced it's, something that people this were is Dark okay Sun. Yeah. Dark Sun, of... and like these people were here at a coliseum to watch people kill the, each other. I'm good not, point. They're not good people in the crowd. <laughs> That's true. They are watching murder. <laughs> <laughs> they are watching murder happen, so yeah. maybe they should take put, take part in the festivities. Yeah, yeah, I guess that would be true equality, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, I mean, uh, nobody wants to see the monster truck explode and send a tire into the audience, but everyone kind of wants, wants to see, to see it. The monster <laughs> yeah. truck explode and send a tire into the right. audience. So as the uh, last week, uh, Sislak unfortunately was, was out, was uh, a little under the weather, or at least si what Sislak had mentioned or what ha Sislak had told the, the group was, you know, I'm feeling a little under the weather. I need to just rest for a little while. So that's, uh, that's what happened, why Sislak wasn't with us last week. And this week we're actually... Uh, missing our gunslinger, which is not an issue because the gunslinger is with you. The gunslinger is not sick. It, she is 100% ready for combat. So as you guys go racing uh, through the underground uh, network to get to the Colosseum, because the plan, of course, is to go underneath the Colosseum and uh, the the Veiled Alliance, the essentially terrorists that you've been working with, uh, <laughs> have set up a series of charges to explode the Colosseum floor so that you can burst out in the middle of these events. So as you're racing through this underground network of caverns, sewers, what have you, uh, there's a there's a collapse that happens in the sewers, and yeah, and uh, Ember gets stuck behind and gets separated to the to to a point there's just boulders bigger than any of you that you can't even move. Uh, so she's just stuck. Hopefully she'll be okay, but no way to know. There's nothing you can do about it. As you as you keep running, you actually hear some voices, and you the 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 cavern that you're in opens up into a larger cave, which is carved fairly well. But at, the first thing you see when you get in there is you see a bunch of people chained up against the walls. Uh, these are prisoners of some sort. Uh, one of the prisoners, the only prisoner that you see that's like that looks like he hasn't wasted away is this one here. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, Ben. Release me! I am Farskeen Bonebreaker. I will help. Yes. Yes, gladly. Yes. As you see Don't that. Me. I'm not with them. Yeah. As you see yes. that, as you see that, uh, through another uh, hallway on the left, you see Sislak come busting in, and with his sword just breaks the chains of several uh, of several prisoners. Ha ha! Hey, where have you guys been? Where have you been? What do you mean? I thought the plan was to free some people and stop some things from happening. Yeah, but you have been gone. You've been like you said nursing you had a hangover flu. for like a month. Uh, that doesn't sound we all, we all went on caravan and got magic power, and you... It's been like two weeks. Oh, that's interesting. No, I don't recall any of that. <laughs> I did, however, happen to find a few friends. Uh, let me introduce them to you. Uh, this guy right here is Frankie. Hey, how's it going? 
Frankie. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no, no. It's just like a favor, so I will be helping you until that favor is taken care of. I'm gonna kill Frankie. <laughs> and this over here, this is Steve. He's my traveling companion. I am Steve. I sing pusses like the great. Really, uh, I'll kill him. <laughs> Done. <laughs> uh, so, so you uh, take the chains off of. What's your character's name again? Foreskeen. Uh, <laughs> four skin. Four skin. Sure. Can I do, four I'm number. Do, four. Four, four yeah. skin. No. I like have a, four arms. You see. Sure. Like yeah. an office. Um. You know, sort of camera. Insert. <laughs> yeah. You pull a Jim Halpert. Okay, so... Uh, His ancient name of my people. <laughs> four skin. Well, I just hope you don't get clipped. <laughs> I don't understand oh, the reference. So, so you guys, uh, so you guys free the rest of these prisoners, and you go running along down down the cavern towards the towards the Colosseum, and you actually hear shouting behind you. Uh, you freed all the prisoners, and the prisoners just ran off to the sides. So there's somebody clearly chasing you, uh, chasing behind you, as you're heading towards the Colosseum. You get to the room where you can see these like magical charges that are set up, and it's pretty straightforward. You just have to like press these, put your hand up against the up against the runes, and it sets the charges, and they will explode a few seconds later. So, you're in that room with the charges, and you also hear voices coming after you. Um, Long live the revolution! <laughs> yeah, Sislak goes, excellent, I was going to tell you to do that. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Steve, sing while it's happening. <laughs> of course you named him Steve. Why yeah, Steve, him Steve, oh boy, that's a tough, that's a tough row for you to hoe. Um, <laughs> I can kill him. <laughs> so, uh, I wouldn't try it, bug man. I'll keep that in my back pocket. Oh, yeah. By the way, it, it, uh, I don't know if you know this, man, or if people in chat know nope. this, but Thrycreen are praying mantis people. So they're just like... I know what humanoid. I am. <laughs> well, uh, let me... telepathic. <laughs> you can't actually understand a word. Yeah, it's all, it's all telepathic and like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's about right. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I chose the character that can't talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you no. hear me in the head, in your yeah. head? Every, yeah. yeah, you can communicate. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm too punchy for that type of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So is, is he eating? He's like yeah, eating he's popcorn. Like, he's, like, he's, like, <laughs> he's like a wood chipper. Or <laughs> Have you seen a giant praying mantis before? That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody everybody needs to defy danger uh, for the explosions that are happening all around you. I don't know what that means. Roll 2d6. Sweet. What, really? Can no. you pick smaller dice? It's a, defy oh. danger. Six, seven, oh. eight. Um, so basically, eight. whenever so yeah. whenever you defy danger, uh, it's like you're making <laughs> a saving throw. Again? So when yeah. I tell you to defy danger, uh, you use one of that? these modifiers uh, based on how you can you're add like something right. you're dodging you out of the way. Uh, or you just add add absorb it. It's up to you. Wow. Unless it's like, well, if, unless I call bullshit on oh, it, so so you can pretty much use whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna use strength. So I got. You're just like eating it, basically. You're just gonna like try and muscle your way. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my my two hirelings and go. Below me, boys. <laughs> okay, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> below me. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Forsky. Forsky, below me. <laughs> uh, what 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 is the rules on this? Well, whatever modifier you think you should be adding mm -hmm. to it, based on what your character is doing. Ah. Are you dodging? Are you muscling it up like him? Are you? And you want to try and get a ten? Just the suggestion. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Ten is the goal, but you can succeed it. So I didn't want a six. four, a straight four. You got a four? <laughs> okay. Uh, did anybody, is there anybody who got a six or lower besides you? Not with my modifier. Okay, great. So roll me a d10 damage. Yeah. <laughs> Take that. And mark experience. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately for the, for the rest of you, uh, whether, th uh, what was your total? Uh, it was eight. Eight. Uh, Seven. So no tens? Ten. Oh, ten. Okay, so the three of the three of you uh, to to actually effectively be able to to either dodge out of the way or you're just trying to like force up against it, mm -hmm. it kind of pushes you back. Uh, but for for all of you who got seven to nine, you get pushed back or you have to move back to the entrance enough that now these people chasing you are right next to you and they show up ready for combat. Uh, the 10, you are safe at the back of the room. In fact, you can go up into the Colosseum if you like, but you're 
not in harm's way at all, and you took damage from the uh, from the rubble, which if you have armor will reduce, which I doubt you because you're a wizard. Yeah. No. Okay, cool. So uh, we are now officially in the encounter in combat. We don't do initiative. Uh, who wants to go? Who's uh, who? so I'll yell back because uh, the thing happens. Right now. Steve, continue playing. God damn it! The rest <laughs> of you, attack. So now everybody gets a plus one moving forward on this roll. Okay. Um, so for your, the next thing you do, you get a plus one because of your commander. So who's up first? Hockey? Yeah. I'm ready. To, I'm, I'm rip roaring and raring to go. Get out of my way. I have slaves to free and a dragon king to kill. I'm going to take my troll stance. Definitely. <laughs> definitely made it. Okay. So you go into your troll stance. And then I'm, and then I'm going to attack. Is that like basically you harass women on the internet, or what is that? <laughs> I, um, I... It's about ethics, okay. Oh, it's, uh, right, I forgot, it's about ethics, never mind. Yeah, 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 no, I know, it's like I spam people's faces with punches. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. On the electronics, on the electronics. <laughs> Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I got to watch this. There's a moment. bit of a delay here, so we get to watch it in oh, live time. We get to watch it live. <laughs> oh, it's not wrong when it happens. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh. Can I just say that is actually uh, only the second oh, spit take that I've ever done in my entire life. Oh, that hurts. Oh, wow. That is, Max, I, I, hope, I hope you take that as a compliment. Oh, absolutely. That was, I, oh man, that really broke me. That really <laughs> I don't know what it was about that, but that was really good. Um, <laughs> uh, so do I get I get plus one moving forward? So on my troll strength or on my attack? It would be on your troll strength. So it's okay. forward is just the next uh, the next move you make. Um, so then this is a nine. Okay, for my attack. Okay, nine total. So you. Yeah. Uh, you're attacking the the guards that have come up. Yeah. Okay. So these car these guards are actually wielding like rusty iron chains, mm -hmm. and as you go running in, the the guard actually kind of steps aside a little bit, takes the hit from you. So you do your your full damage to to the guard, but the guard actually clotheslines you with mm -hmm. with this chain and wraps it around uh, like around your your armpit and just. Holes. So now you've got your your left arm is is just bleeding like crazy. So you will take damage. Sorry, I just closed the book because I spit beer all over the table. Um, you uh, that'll be a D10 damage, which ignores armor. Actually, what? Ooh. Why does yeah. everything that hits me ignore armor? Uh, hey, you know what? I don't know. He takes ten damage. Okay, Ooh. so he takes ten. Oh, he's oh, gotcha. And what do I? And what, what do I? Uh, you'll take a D10 as well. D10. Six. Jeez, man. Jeez, with this. Hey, roll a ten, bro. You don't have to worry about it. Whoa. Shit. Um. Burn. Okay, so who's next? Uh, you've gone. You've gone. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I'll cast magic missile and hopefully not forget how to use the spell. Uh, and I you don't. Sweet man, you destroyed that magic missile. Yeah. Six damage. Nice. Uh, to the same one? Yeah. Uh, how many are there? There are only two. Okay, cool. Yeah, this should be a nice, easy one. And how much damage did you do, Max? You did I did 10 damage. Okay. Uh, so 16. Uh, okay, so that knocks down the first guard, actually. <laughs> Great. Stupid spells not having, ignoring armor. Okay, so yeah, the, the first guard actually goes down. Who's next? That would be me. Okay. I'm gonna try to break in my new mace. Oh, nice. And I'm just gonna take a swing. Uh, that is an eight. Okay, so as you go running in with your with your brand new mace, it looks like this guy is ready for you. You're you're really more trained in, in magic and, and elementalism than you are in true melee combat, so as you go running in, you kind of open yourself up a little more than than you would like, and it looks like he's you you recognize that he's going to take advantage of it, and you have a chance to kind of pull your swing to protect yourself as you're going in if you like. But it looks like if if you actually take your full swing, he's going to upend you and and throw you onto the ground, and you'll be grabbed by this chain. The chain will be wrapped around you. I'm going to take it. 
Okay, so you go ahead and full swing. Go ahead and roll your damage. All right. uh, it's still the mate. Still the same for a mace, right? Yeah, it's it's always going to be whatever your. Oh, is your, it D8? It's D8. Yep. Ooh, seven. seven. Okay, um, and your mace should have uh, a plus one piercing as well. So make sure it does. you're right. Okay, cool. Uh, make sure you remind me of that because it means their armor is slightly less effective. Okay. Uh, seven damage, you said. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you don't take any damage, but a as you come in and you take your swing, your arm, you, you fall down, your arm falls down to your side and you're completely open like this. And he just wraps the chain around your neck and throws you to the ground. So now he's got the chain around your neck and just ready to pull. Kinky. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the really cool, it's like the choking game, which I have mentioned before on this stream is the best game ever. Amy loves the choking game. No, I like when you talk about it. You know, I'm you, sorry, <laughs> Amy likes the choking game? Everyone likes Please the choking explain. game, it's the best. Uh, the choking game, everybody here played the choking game in, in middle school or like elementary. Oh, when you pass yourself out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. the choking game. The stupidest yeah. thing ever as yeah, kids. Yeah. We're like, hey, let's so do dangerous. What is going on in middle America? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? I, mean, I watched I was... it happen, but I never once uh, took part. It's part. actually. I got, I got passed out once and uh, apparently I smiled after uh -huh. I passed out, so the people around me assumed I hadn't passed out and backed away. I then apparently fell over, mm -hmm. hit a bicycle tire, bounced off of it, hit the ground. Uh, I was having a wonderful dream about something. Yeah, because it's actually sudden, pretty great. I woke up with the worst headache in the world. Yeah. No way you could have entered rest. See, we didn't do the choking game. We just did that whole put your head between your knees, breathe really fast, really fast, and then stand up really fast. Really awesome fast. thought. Who did that? Well, it's. I mean that. Well, the way fine. the way I will caution. You know, obviously, if you're gonna play the choking game, you need to be safe about it. You guys were not safe about it. We obviously. we were safe about I, it. There's we, a safe way. No, I disagree. Um, I mean, I think kids will be kids, you know, and so they're going to cut off oxygen to their brain. That's just something some, all kids some are going to do. Or another. Yeah, all yeah. kids are going to do that at some point. So at least let's be safe about it. That's what I always say. So anyway, <coughs> that's the situation that uh, Aodan is in right now. Uh, so I think you're. Clearly, I right? don't have uh, any weapons. Yes, right you do. Now, do Go I? Your second, uh, do you, I? Yeah, yeah. They I have would, a lot they of weapons. Been, yeah, yeah. You have. They would have been like in a chest on the no. side. They weren't with you, but you grabbed them up before they pulled you away. I see. So you have you have a one-handed axe and a two-handed sword. But if you don't like swords, it can be an axe or it can be a club. Whatever you want yeah, it to be is what it is. I mean, I'll, I'll have a two-handed axe and a regular axe. Why not have both axes? You sure. know me. Yeah. <laughs> I do know you. No. <laughs> it's almost always going to be no. an axe. It's always no. going to be an axe. <laughs> Yeah, so actually, um, we just met you. None of us know you. That would be. So you'll add your strength. Yeah. Uh, and a seven. Plus one. That's oh. a seven. Okay. Uh, oh, and a plus one? A, yeah, it doesn't eight. matter, but it, it'll matter if you get like a nine or if you get this. Bump it up to a ten or something. But okay, so. Um, hmm. Okay, so you. You run in and. Mm. Mm. With your with your axe and two-handed axe, your two I have two axe. axes. Sorry, one's a two-handed axe. <laughs> Get it right, okay. Sean. So you you run in with your with your two-handed axe. Thank you. And you realize uh, you realize uh, you roll your damage. You realize as you hit this guard, unfortunately, you have left your back flank completely open. You're kind of the You've always been, whatever group you're in, you're always the tank of the group. Yeah. I mean, you're a big, beefy, you know, dude. So you realize that as, 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 as this mm -hmm. big, uh, big, beefy mule ran up to the front, and then you followed him up to the yeah. front, you realize the back is now completely open, the hole that you blew in the Colosseum, um, you actually see gladiators or just random piecemeal fighters come running down okay. into, into the area where you are. So you deal your damage, but unfortunately... You realize that uh, things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. It was six. Yeah. What's that? It was six damage. Side. Okay, six damage. Uh, six is. They're trying to fight, and we just blew a hole. No, nope, it's uh, that the guard is actually still alive. Okay, so new round. Anybody can go. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast fear. Okay. On the chain around my neck. Okay. On the chain around your neck? Yeah. Fear on the chain? Yeah. Uh, I cast on. I have to pick an item and a person to target. I'm targeting the guy choking me, mm -hmm. and the item's going to be the chain around my neck. 
He's gonna oh. get snakes or something. Oh, yeah. okay, that's oh interesting. God. And that is good roll. Eleven. Okay, so yeah, the oh man, that was gonna be really cool because he was just gonna choke you the fuck out. Um, I know okay, you, yeah, I know you middle Americans <laughs> love choking, but no. It's not just a middle well, America thing. Say, it's I've met plenty of people out here that like it too. <laughs> yeah, like that's my joke. yeah, that's my favorite thing yeah, about yeah, LA yeah, actually. Yeah, that's fair. Is it's a I, lot I've easier. Seen a lot more of that in LA. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, than I, ever yeah. Yeah. I couldn't have stayed. They do it poorly out here though. People die from it. <laughs> well, that's a good point. I have, care it's all about safety, 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 guys. Um, they have you can buy online a um, there's like a, <laughs> it's like a it's like a pillow. It's like a pillow. It's an inflatable pillow. Wait, I'm sorry. A what? It's like a pillow. A pillow. A pillow. A pillow. Okay. Full of pillow. Full of pillow. All right. You need bags? I carry my bags everywhere. Do you put? You put? What do you? What do you do with your pillow bags? I love that you side. Like you, you completely sidetrack your own game. Yeah. All right. Four um, more guards show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I can do as I like here. Um, but you know what? I want it to be a fair, a fair game. So, um, so anyway, the the eight gladiators and fighters that have come down into the, the, into the pit. I didn't give a number before that. So <laughs> it's completely, uh, completely kosher what I'm doing here. It is. Uh, who's who, who? Who? Oh, uh, so you're, yeah, you're fear. fear. Um, yeah. yeah. He. So you make it. Uh, what? What is the? What does the chain look like to him? Or why? Uh, why is he afraid of it? Um. Fuck! It's on fire. That makes sense. Fire cleric. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah. So the the, the, Burn the it. yeah the 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 metal chain just heats up so much, or so he thinks that he has to drop it. So he just backs away and, and drops the chain onto the ground. So your um, your neck is unfortunately now safe. Um, oh, I look to the other gladiators that have all run into the room, and I go, We're here to help you. We're rescuing all of you. You might have heard of me. This is like the great, the third, Steve. Tell them about me. God damn it. <laughs> all right, go ahead and fucking pull your shit. <laughs> um, what, what, like a charisma on that? Yeah, oh, for sure that's charisma. Yeah, so a nine... Um, and then I've got inspiration. Can I use that? Uh, you can, yeah, and that's advantage essentially. So roll one more d6 and it lets you drop the lowest of the three. Okay, so, sweet. yeah, so you got a 10. No complications, just a straight success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these. They have heard of Sis like the Great, the third. Who hasn't in this town? Yeah. Greatest runs of the family. Yeah, the third already. Three generations of greatness. Oh, I've heard of him. He's the guy who threw that party that burned down half of my neighborhood. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, that happened. I think it was me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was really more with a with an assist from Ember, if I remember correctly. Right. It was a group effort. It was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Team. It's a team. My game. money. Group effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and thanks for that inspiration, by the way, from last game. Yeah, I can't remember who it was, but you know what? We thanked them at the end of the last we uh, did. last time. So. Um, uh, yeah, so you actually now have eight gladiators on your side. Who's next? <laughs> I think I want to kill the I want to kill the the guard. Go ahead. All right. Uh, yeah, so it's eight. Okay. Uh, the guard just deals damage back to you. So roll your d10 for damage. Uh, eight. Okay. Uh, and roll another d10, and that's how much damage you take. That's eight plus one, so it would be nine. So just wow. Is that a, what is that? It's a one, baby. One. Yeah. Oh, no! So you take one damage. Sean. Reduced by visibly armor. upset. Oh, no, so damage. no damage. No damage. Sean is visibly <laughs> upset about this. Um, uh, listen, this is all an act. I, I know how I just, I, people on my... I know, how to, I know how to mock <laughs> for the camera that I'm annoyed by you guys. <laughs> I'm... I don't care. So on Monday night? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a, I, I believe there's always a camera watching me. That's just, I think that's, <laughs> listen, the, the world we show. live in, guys, with the NSA and drones. There it is. Oh, no. Come on. There it is. Come on. Do you really think we're not being watched all the time? I think there's a camera in my bathroom. Actually, I know there's a camera in my bathroom. Because you put uh, it right. there. Yeah, yeah, that was my you choice. You know about the camera in the bathroom? <laughs> oh, shit, oh, there's yeah, two cameras. Oh, sorry. I mean, uh, sorry, you guessed. I have one camera that is in your bathroom. I do know of it. Yeah, yeah, that I chose to put there and not a second. The singular camera. Yeah. yeah. Singular. All right, well, I guess, okay, I guess good singular job. doesn't exist anymore. It's AT&T. <laughs> ah, right. Mm, good point. Uh, I had them. Sorry. So you guys, so you, you 
knock out the or kill the two guards that were chasing after Bird. you with their rusty chains. And the eight gladiators that were going, looked like they were going to fight you, recognized Sislak after Steve's kind of help in pleading your case and saying, hold on, guys. If you didn't know, Sislak is kind of hot shit. And all the gladiators were like, oh, shit, this is Sislak? This is, like, hot shit Sislak? So gross. <laughs> like a steaming hot shit? Steaming, yeah. Sislak, the hot steaming pile of shit? <laughs> and, and Steve was like, one and the same. <laughs> one in the same. Whatever works, fellas. That's all I have to say. So you hear a bunch of commotion up above, uh, up, in the, up in the Coliseum. You hear mostly, you know, bone and stone weapons clashing against makeshift armor. Nothing impressive. But you do hear some metal clashing up above. It's been a long time since I've been to the Coliseum. Today, we will free lots of men. And you can free women, too. Hey, hey, hey hockey. Some women too, yeah, you can, hockey. you can free the women, too. It's okay. We'll free the men. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. And the women. Okay. 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 Uh, since Haki is uh, familiar with these types of events, and I've only watched them from afar, why don't you take points? Gladly. See, this is what I'm telling you. Leadership. You yes, I'm someone. taking your notes that you gave me. <laughs> also, leadership. <laughs> everyone, outside! So as, as Sislak commands everyone to run outside, those who do follow Sislak's command uh, eagerly and with, with clear, uh, where the, if you clearly follow his command, then you have plus one forward for your next action. If you do so reluctantly, then you don't get the plus one. <laughs> I do it with bells on. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! The worst. Somehow his voice, even even oh. though I realize you all hate him, <laughs> somehow he still inspires you yeah. as you choose to follow his command. I mean, Yenin's been trying to teach him how to lead, and he feels like he's finally listening. So it's like, yeah. That's true. Yeah, you can look at it as, well, I'm doing this. <laughs> so Haki leads the way. Yes. Followed by, yeah. I assume? Uh, Farskeen. Oh, it's right. Farskeen. 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 Chilling. Farskeen. Got it. <laughs> So as as you two emerge as you two emerge it's getting from lost the tunnel, in translation in the your brain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard. Lots of things. Uh, it is hard. Brain. It is real hard. Uh, well, not yet. Not if you can see force far skiing. Um, so not hard enough. Right, exactly. Far skiing doesn't disappear though. <laughs> That's a good point. It doesn't turn invisible. Like go Listen, I'm gonna be honest, guys, I have not seen a penis before. <laughs> That's the straight up truth. Um, <laughs> So as as Haki uh, runs out I'm, into the Colosseum, a a wave a wave of excitement goes through the Colosseum through the crowd because Haki has a history here. He has fought in the pits, and it's kind of a it's a folk hero's tale, really. All of the gladiators would like to believe that there's some sort of hope out there. You want to believe that you're not going to die here, and Haki is one of the few that was actually able to fight well enough and, and gain enough favor that he was able to be freed eventually. So no one ever really expected to see Haki in the gladiator pit ever again because who would subject themselves to something like that after being through those horrors? But here's Haki oh, bursting through the ground, a, a huge explosion, <coughs> and then bursting through the ground into the middle of the gladiator pit. And the Colosseum goes silent for a moment and then just cheers erupt everywhere. <laughs> what you see- In that moment, that sure. it goes silent, I would like that that uh, Sislak comes out and assumes that some of those cheers <laughs> oh. are for him. Um, Sislak, unfortunately, is a little slow, so he doesn't actually come out until halfway through the cheers have started and still assumes that the cheers <laughs> were for him. Like, he's like, oh. oh you uh, heard of me. Yeah, like, you're like, oh, they probably saw me coming out. You're like, oh, these cheers were just about to die down, but then when I came out, it got so much louder. <laughs> um, for, the, for the rest of you, it did not get louder. <laughs> it was pretty much the same throughout. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, so in the Colosseum, you see pitched battles throughout with, with gladiators. It looked like they were in the middle of some fights and games already. And you see Templars ringing the walls, just making sure that the, none of the gladiators try to escape the pits. So you see guards along the, along the walls. And you see 
clearly built especially for this event because the Colosseum doesn't normally have anything in the middle of it. There is a ziggurat which has been built in the middle of the of the Colosseum. This is a large stadium. Imagine like your standard, you know, college football stadium that, you know, can house, you know, 30,000 people. Uh, not like a, you know, not like a pro stadium that houses more than that, but you know, this can house 30,000 people and it's like it's like half full, which is impressive actually. 15,000 people watching this. And there's a ziggurat in the center of the of the sand pit, and at the top you can see several Templars. You see scattered, uh, like I say, you see scattered uh, gladiators throughout. You see three Templars ringing the the ziggurat right towards the top, uh, about 20 feet down from the apex of the ziggurat, and right at the apex you see what has to be the Sorcerer King. No one has ever actually seen the Sorcerer King before. As far as everybody, and maybe somebody's seen him. The Templars might have seen him at some point, but no civilians have, have seen the Sorcerer King before. But it's pretty clear that this is the Sorcerer King at the top of the ziggurat. The, the, there's some sort of transformation that's already happened. Uh, it's non-draconic. It looks like the there's strange black, uh, almost like werewolf or uh, strange talons coming out of all of his fingers. He's just pale white, uh, which in a place like Dark Sun doesn't make an awful lot of sense. You'd have to get at least a little bit of sun in a desert wasteland world like this, but he's pale white. And there's just a, even from, you know, 100 feet away, 100 feet down, uh, which you guys are, it is, you can just see the fire burning in his eyes. There's no pupils or iris left. It's just pure hatred and magic burning in his eyes. It also looks like he doesn't seem aware of anything around him. He seems very focused on something else. You, you, you see him making a lot of hand gestures, but he doesn't seem to be looking in any direction or, or turning or anything like that. He's just very focused. You see a on top of this ziggurat, the ziggurat doesn't actually come to an exact point. When I say the apex, there's a kind of a flat top to it, which is where the Sorcerer King is standing. And on top of that ziggurat is uh, the pristine stone obelisk tower, which is building-sized. Uh, no entrances. There's been speculation for decades about what this tower is for, uh, and still no one really knows. But apparently, somehow, the Sorcerer King took this building laid it low and then transported it halfway across the world to bring it to this ziggurat and then stand it back up on top of the ziggurat. Oh, is this the one from the map? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. So this is an actual like geographic tower um, making, you know, making the ziggurat plus the tower like 20 stories tall. Standing in front of the tower is the Sorcerer King, and just a little lower than that are the three Templars. It, look like, it looks like the Templars are guarding the, the Sorcerer King. You do see, coming from a gate opposite of you, uh, a gate has been broken, the, the wood has been splintered, and you see a cart with several people that you recognize from the Veiled Alliance that you've worked with, and inside the cart is uh, a, some sort of a, uh, an object covered with a blanket. Um, <clears throat> would we know if whether or not he's begun his transformation? Okay, should I spout uh, lore? Yeah, or spout lore. That would be good. Or or discern reality. Either or. Yeah. Um, that's plus wisdom, intelligence. Discern reality might be a little safer than yeah. spouting lore. I'll discern reality. Because a failed spout lore could get you in a lot of trouble here. Sure. He's already completed it. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, what uh, what is your question? What here is not? Do it has to be one of these questions? Yes, but I understand what you're trying to ask. What for. here is not what it appears to be? The you look at the Templars. 
surrounding the the sorcerer king up above they're kind of ringing the the ziggurat to keep people away and the templars look just kind of assessing them they look pretty comfortable with the sorcerer king right now they don't seem to be wigged out by anything that's happening with him he doesn't seem off-putting or or abnormal to them sure gotcha Gotcha. okay so we should not attack him yet yeah but maybe take out his templars maybe i'm wondering if we should just like or should we go pretend like we're part of the gladiatorial event at Hang the moment. Hang back with the Battle Alliance and see what's underneath the... We have yeah. The, yeah. the stone probably in the cart. Oh, yeah, the... the uh, Obsidian Orb. The Obsidian, Obsidian orb. orb and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I guess I'm going to... Cool, yeah. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do commanding shout then. Okay. Um, and roll for that. I uh, got an eight. So on a seven and nine, hold one. Hold maybe spent one for one to rally fervor, vigor, fortitude, or courage. Um, and I'm going to throw a D4 to you. Oh, cool. So you've got that. And I'm just going to say, uh, let's uh, let's go check out that cart, boys. <laughs> and, uh, and that D4, he can add to a to like a move that he does, or allow an ally to deal one D4 damage. Okay, cool. All right, so you move towards the cart. You, uh, it's slow going at first, and then your eight gladiators that you're commanding uh, just punch a hole through and just clear the way for you. It's like that uh, uh, you're kind of moving slowly, and you're you're realizing this is going to take a while. It's that like that moment in Independence Day where everybody just kind of clears the way for the one guy who's got the missile left, and it just opens up, <laughs> and you you run into. I'm like a biplane. Excellent. <laughs> right. You it was like uh, a jet. Well, it it yeah. was, sure, yeah. <laughs> Let's give him all his credit. Um, he was also mentally ill. Poor guy. Still is. He was, it was right. a biplane, <laughs> but they did reshoot right. because I Aside from the movie, in real oh, life. Oh, yeah. 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 We're, not, we're just talking yeah. about Randy just Quaid. Squatting, right? squatting <laughs> in other people's houses. <laughs> right. I'm back. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny how the most insane people do really well Acting <laughs> like insane people. Acting. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's that's yeah. That's why I I exclusively go for uh, auditions of people who are tremendously creepy. <laughs> that's the only thing I'll. If they say you know middle American dad, good guy. Yeah, I'm like, like I won't. No, I'm not gonna audition. Middle American that. It's, a, it's dad a waste of my time and theirs. Has crotchless panties and high heels in his closet that yeah. he keeps hidden away from everybody. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will go out. Yeah, because he's suburban dad with a dark secret. Yes. Sure. Yeah, I'll do you have to work in the story about the choking game somewhere mm-hmm. into your yeah. audition. I have gotten not great notes from casting directors about that. Uh, about can't that story. That's uh, strange. I feel like well, there's, there's like a variant DC cover from the from the killing game. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a choking game with Sean doing that creepy Joker yep, face. Yep, sure. Yeah, Batman's just choking. <laughs> <laughs> so he, so like he's kind of smiling a little yeah. bit. Yeah, like, <laughs> yep. yeah I, I've always felt that, uh, that I, um, I've felt an affinity with the Joker. I think there's a... Of course. I don't want to follow that. I don't want to follow that. You both have Nobody strong, strong jawlines. Yeah. That's what so. I, that's it. I don't, he's, honestly guys, he can be, in my opinion, real mean. Like I don't. I mean, you're going out on a yeah. limb here. I don't agree I feel with like a lot of the stuff. You're expressing an opinion that we don't all share. Yeah, I'm just but saying I don't agree with everything. Wait, he does. isn't he just joking around though? Yeah, it's yeah. really. It's a goof, dude. Yeah, he's the guy's having, got a laugh. It's a boner. Stuff. Just having a laugh. Yeah, just having, <laughs> having a laugh. Okay, so <laughs> saving throw. We have the controversial opinions. Yeah. Well, I listen. I'm going to go out on a limb sometimes, and people are going to have to deal with it. Mm. Lay down that truth bomb. Boom. Oh. Thank you guys. Did you drop a truth bomb? I What'd did. you roll? I did. Like 27. Sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, actually, that is the opposite of you lied about that. It <laughs> <laughs> could not have been 27. <laughs> I saw a one in there. There's <laughs> right. no way. Yeah. That, oh, that well, and also, not. mathematically, 24 <laughs> is the maximum <laughs> result of 46. So. I had modifiers. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. My bad. My bad. Real life modifiers. Plus 18. Uh, Folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. Woo-hoo. Saving Throw Live!
This is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Oh, thank God. Oh.